Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is gonna be a nesting video and I'm so excited. I have my diaper bag all packed with all of baby boy stuff and I'm about to pack my hospital bag. I have everything kind of laying out on the bed, I'm trying to plan out what I'm packing. I'm gonna share all of that with you guys. I'm also gonna be setting up the pack and play which we're using as a bassinet in our room and then baby boy's camera and sound machine and like all the things we're gonna have when he gets home. Of course he has his own room but he's gonna be sleeping upstairs in our room. I'm gonna get all of that set up. I cannot believe we are two weeks away from baby or like any, I guess, <laughs> Anytime within the next two weeks, a baby boy can come, and I just cannot believe it. This pregnancy has flown by, but I'm so excited. I cannot wait to snuggle a new little baby and have the fourth and final addition to our little family. Can I even say little family anymore? Because I feel like now it's like a big family. But we've kind of been nesting all morning. Obviously, I got up and got dressed and got ready. I had some phone calls with family that I just need to like catch up with everybody. And if you saw on TikTok or Instagram, we got a new car yesterday. So excited about that. I don't know if you guys can see it. That white Tahoe high country is my new ride and I absolutely love it. You guys can let me know in the comments if you want me to do a full tour or like review of the Tahoe high country. Obviously I love it because I bought it, but I would love to show you guys all the features if that's something you're interested in. I can't remember if we did this before or after our last YouTube video, but we did rearrange our room and it feels so much more open the way that it is now. So I'll show you guys how we did that and then where we're gonna set up baby boy. I'm gonna be doing a really fun unboxing. I'm super excited about the camera that we have for the baby. And Matt spent the entire morning cleaning the downstairs, which is amazing. And he said tomorrow morning he's gonna deep clean the upstairs. So I'm so excited about that. Um, I have a thing, every time I'm in labor, I get in the bath. Um, I don't really know why. I remember my mom getting in the bath whenever she was in labor with my sisters. We don't have a bathtub in our room, so. Matt like cleaned the downstairs guest bathroom really, really good. Just so that, I don't know, it's like ready for me to get in whenever I'm in labor. The reason that I always do that is because supposedly, I guess if you're in false labor, the bath should stop it or like at least slow the contractions. But if it's real labor, obviously like nothing's gonna slow it down. So I have gotten in the bath every single time I've gone into labor. Um, one time with Rena, it was false labor and it did stop. And then the next day I ended up going into real labor. But anyway, enough chit chat. Matt has the kids outside. I'm looking at them out the window, but they were a little bit stir crazy from him cleaning and me packing all morning. Um, so he has them outside while I film with you guys. So let's get into it. Here is our current situation so far. This is pretty much everything that's gonna go in my hospital bag. My hospital bag and my diaper bag are from Luli BB, and I actually have a discount code. So if you're interested in that, let me know. But I absolutely love them. These are in the color white, um, but they have a bunch of different colors. I just got this little blanket from Marshalls for $6, and it's so soft, and it's like the perfect size to be a car seat blanket. So I'm gonna bring that. I always bring my boppy. This is the diaper bag. I have it all stocked, so we will get into everything that I have in the diaper bag here in a minute. This is Matt's little cleaning caddy that he's leaving for tomorrow to clean the upstairs tomorrow. Pig pile of laundry that we're gonna ignore. I think we're gonna fold that tonight, but that doesn't have anything to do with today's video. Nanette was so nice to send us this camera with the floor stand and the sound and light machine. So that is what we're gonna be using up here for the baby while he's sleeping in our room. And then of course, when he moves into his room, we can move both of these downstairs. And just to give you guys a general idea of how we rearranged our room, obviously the dresser is over here. It's not the cleanest right now <laughs> and ignore the tripod. Um, but we scooted the bed over a little bit. This is still that desk that I've done nothing with. And I plan to go tomorrow and get a mirror and a chair for that. <laughs> but it has been a long overdue little project that I haven't paid attention to. We put this mirror over here, which is so nice. Um, I like that it's like by the window, so I get a little bit of sunlight if I'm, I don't know, using it. There's baby boy. And since we moved the bed over, I have a lot more room on this side. So this is where I'm gonna be setting up for baby. And yeah, I just really like this setup in here, even though it's kind of messy right now. Okay, I'm kind of like kneeling on the ground right here, but I think the first thing I'm gonna do is set up the pack and play bassinet, set up the camera and the sound machine, and then we can get into the hospital and diaper bag. We got this four moms pack and play whenever I was pregnant with Grayson. I think it was a gift and it has been a godsend. I highly, highly, highly recommend. <laughs> If you've used other pack and plays, you know how hard they are to put up and down, mainly to put down. I feel like you have to like pull every lever and then pull the thing up in the middle. This one has just one little thing that you pull and that sucker is up. 
It also has some really cool add-ons, which you're gonna see me use today to like make it a bassinet. And then there's actually a little caddy for the side where we can stock all of the diapers. So this is a pack and play itself. Um, I just put the mattress at the bottom just because like that's gonna essentially be storage. We're gonna have the bassinet on top. I'm gonna put this cover in here too, just cause it's gonna be at the bottom, why not? This baby boy's room, it really hasn't changed much since our last video, cause it's pretty much done. Matt did hang that <laughs> peep the patch where we had a little mishap with the anchor. Those are just the boat fenders. Um, and then he was cleaning, so that's why this is up here. One thing I did do after the last video is move this little caddy from the laundry room in here and I put my pump stuff on it. That is just the bottles to the pump and then I put diapers and extra wipes down there. So that's kind of like hiding back there, just like a storage. And I'm pretty sure the pack and play stuff is in the closet, so I'm gonna go dig through is the mattress for the top part i'm thinking the rest of it is in a bin up at the top of the closet so i'm gonna have to go get matt to help me okay we got all the things this just has little clips that clip onto each side and then it like wraps over the corners This is the little caddy that I was talking about that just hooks onto the side. And it's so nice because you can put whatever you need in here, whether it's like the nightlight. I mean, this I think is specifically made for diapers. This is all what we use for Grayson. I'm pretty much basing like everything that I'm explaining off of my experience with using all of this with Grayson. I feel like I end up having like pump stuff in here, his wipes, like all the things that I just want handy right next to the bed, especially for like the middle of the night stuff. This is the whole setup, just so you guys can see the caddy. And then this is a little bassinet part. Of course, I'm gonna put like a waterproof um, protector and then a sheet on there. Um, I have everything in the wash right now. So might not be in this video, but I will definitely have that done before baby comes. I actually think I'm gonna move the caddy to the other side for right now. I might eventually move it back. It's super easy. It actually fits over in this corner really nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and get my camera and my sound and light machine set up. Like I said, Nanit sent us this. I'm so thankful for this gift and I'm very excited about it. I think what's really cool about it is you can download their app and then it will track the breathing and the sleep schedule and tell you like whether baby was sleeping on their back, how many times they stirred. Um, I love all that. I am all about watching the analytics and setting schedules and setting routines and also love, love, love that you can see the breathing as well. The sound and light, if I'm not mistaken, is a newer product of theirs but it has a digital clock and then you can control it with the app as well and I'm pretty sure you can set the sleep routines too. Here it is out of the box. It's actually more compact than I thought it would be so that's pretty cool. So sorry if y'all can hear construction outside. They're building like the second half of our neighborhood and it's literally like right outside my window. It drives me crazy. When we moved into this house um, that was all woods and they had said like that phase of the neighborhood would be being built in like three years. And we thought in our head like, oh my gosh, we're a military, like we will not be here in three years, who cares? Here we are two years later, he's getting out of the military. We are staying in this house and time just goes by so fast. Like so many things have changed, but also time just goes by so fast. Like three years sounds like it's forever away and it's just not. This is packaged so nicely. Now, I opted for the floor stand. I think that you can get um, a wall mount or like a little stand to stand on a piece of furniture. I love peeling off these little stickers. It's so satisfying. And this is the breathing band that works with the camera so that you can track their breathing overnight. This is what it looks like and it just goes around their little chest or their belly. So I'm actually gonna keep that in the box for when we need it. So this is the floor stand. This part is pretty heavy, obviously, so that it doesn't fall over on anybody. Okay, I got a new battery put in and I put you guys on my big tripod so that you could see. But this is the stand. Hook the camera up on top. So this is our whole setup in our room. Of course, I'm gonna stock this with diapers and wipes. I have a Walmart order placed, so I'm waiting on that to get here to stock that up. 
and like I said, I have the linens in the laundry, so I will put that on once that's done. And then we have the sound machine and the camera that we can control with the same app, which is so nice. And we are all set up for the first night baby's home. Okay, so before we get into everything I'm putting in my hospital bag, I'm gonna go over my diaper bag. I was recently talking to my friend and she does not pack a diaper bag. She just packs one hospital bag for like her and baby. I don't know why I've always packed a diaper bag for baby to bring to the hospital and then I pack my bag. I, that's just how I do it. First things first, I have a muslin swaddle blanket. I love these. I think they're so cute to like lay and take pictures over. They're so soft. I love to wrap the baby in them. They're just my favorite is what the inside of the bag looks like it's nice and organized i love all the pockets in here of course i have some diapers and wipes you do not need diapers in the hospital if you're a first time mom and you're wondering you don't need diapers and wipes i just put it in here for the sake of it being a packed diaper bag i don't know why i just like to have like a few things packed i think i put five diapers in here and then one pack of wipes they will absolutely give me those in the hospital they will give you those in the hospital you don't have to pack them I have a burp cloth in here and then I have I think three pairs of socks little burp cloth under the burp cloth is where I had the socks and then here in the middle I have all of baby's outfits this one is not like an outfit outfit it's just what I'm gonna take some pictures in and it's the little Cooper sweater from my friend Janessa's shop Golden Parker um, if you haven't checked out her shop, check her out. Um, she has a really cute Instagram page and does a bunch of really cute reels with her stuff. So Golden Parker is where I got this. And then I have five other outfits. Some may say that five outfits is overkill. Grayson had nonstop blowouts and kept pooping through every single outfit. So I just want to be really safe. Our hospital is only a mile away. So really, if I need something, I can send Matt home to get it. But I just wanted to have a bunch of outfits because Grayson did a ton of blowouts. Two of these outfits don't have feet, which is why I have the socks and then the rest of them are footies. I don't have any gowns or anything like that. I prefer footies or just like the pants outfits and then I'll do socks with it. That's just what I like. I don't know. Five outfits and then his little sweater for pictures. I know there's not too much in here, but really I thought about bringing passies and all that. I don't really like to give passies right at first just because I don't want to do like the nipple confusion or anything. So we do a lot of breastfeeding. We do a lot of skin to skin. I don't need a whole bunch of stuff. Also, like if I needed, needed a passy, they'll give me one at the hospital. So that is really it for the diaper bag. I have this little swaddle blanket rolled up on top. I also got the mini diaper bag. This is not their full-size diaper bag. They have like a big, big one, but I got the mini because I breastfeed all the babies, so I really never have to bring like bottles or anything like that, and I don't know. I'm just confident that this is all I'll need. Now, in addition to what's in this bag, I am bringing this blanket that I showed you guys earlier. It's so soft, and it was only $6, so I'm going to bring this blanket and then my boppy. And then before I move on to what's in my bag, I wanted to show you guys the different straps that you can do with this bag because I think it's so cool. But you can do this long strap and it has the rings right here, but you can do a long strap to carry it like a purse. And then it also has the stroller straps. So you hook them onto the same rings and then it hooks onto the back of the stroller, which is so nice. I thought that was cool for the hospital. And just to start, we're going to leave it as the backpack. That's how Matt said he'll carry it too. So I'm not gonna put the other straps on right now, but I will definitely be using them at some point. Now let's get into everything I am packing in my bag. If you're wondering what Matt's bringing, he's packing for himself because he's a big boy and I already have to pack for myself and the baby. But um, the packing the hospital bag is a little bit harder for me because I'm a chronic overpacker. I think that I need so much stuff and I really don't like, ultimately I've never been in the hospital more than a couple days. Normally, I get discharged after 24 hours, so really, I don't need that much stuff. I'm already probably packing too much stuff, but I did try to cut it down. At first, I was thinking like I want my hair straightener and my makeup and all this stuff, but essentially, like if I want that, if I want to like put on some makeup, I'll probably send them out home to get it. Um, we do have the luxury of that because the hospital is so close, so of course, if you are going to a hospital that's further away from you and you wanna bring that stuff, go for it. I probably would too. I'm hoping that I have like makeup on whenever I go into labor. I have makeup on every day, so it's really likely unless it happens in the middle of the night. But full disclosure, I did do my full face of makeup while in labor with Reina while it was like building up before we went to the hospital. I was like, okay, I'm doing my hair and makeup. I got in the bath. 
I shaved my legs, I did my hair and makeup, but once I like take that off and I'm actually at the hospital, I don't think that I will do it like while I'm there. So anyway, to make a short story long, I don't think that I need that stuff. Another reason why it feels more difficult for me to pack my hospital bag is because I'm using so much stuff daily. So I think that a key to packing your hospital bag is having a list. So have a list of what you want to grab when it's time to go. So of course you have your bags packed, but like what about the stuff that you use every single day? Like I have my drunk elephant moisturizer. I'm not putting that in my bag because I use it every day. I don't really want to buy like a whole full size thing of it. So that's going to be one of the things that's on my list. Getting a pillow and a blanket for me is another thing that's on my list. And I'm not packing it right now because the pillow that I want is the one that I sleep with every night. So I have that like... Whenever it's go time, Matt knows that he has to run upstairs, get me a pillow, a blanket, my face moisturizer, maybe my headphones. I do have my headphones kind of in the bag to show you, but I do use those daily, so they're probably not gonna stay in my bag. Just a little pro tip from somebody who's done it three times. I would just have a list and maybe like, even if you wanna write it out, I know nobody writes like lists out anymore. I have everything in the notes on my phone. But even if you wanna write it out and just put it like on top of your bag or like, you know, pack it at the top of it so that hubby or you or whoever is helping you get out to the car knows to grab a couple things. That is definitely helpful. I'm sure you see all of these empty ones. I'm not using them. I did get this set. It all came in this big one and it was super cheap. I think it was like 11 or $12 and I got it at Walmart and it came with this one and all of these other ones inside it. I actually think I'm going to use this for like my bras and undies and maybe like my gown. And then these nursing bras are from Bodily. They are so super, super soft. I love to have a nursing bra when I go into labor, like under my hospital gown, just because I wanna do skin to skin right away. But I don't know, that way I'm just not like rolling naked. I just always do a nursing thing so that I can pull it down. And then these postpartum undies are also from Bodily. I'm not gonna bring these all. I had just done laundry, so I have all of these. I think I'm gonna bring three. But all of their stuff is so freaking soft. I love it. And I love that these will go over, like these will probably go up to my belly button, which I personally like to be nice and secure after I have the baby. It feels so weird to me to just have everything loose after the baby comes out. Is also from Bodily. This is just to wrap around your belly, your uterus area, just to give you support after. It's really good for helping your uterus contract back to its normal size too. All of these things is what I'm going to be putting in this big one. And I also have two pairs of cozy socks because I can't stand the hospital socks and I'm always cold. I'm gonna put these in here as well. In this one, I have all of my toiletries. Like I said, on my list, I have my face moisturizer, but everything else is pretty much in here. I got new toothbrushes. These have never been used. I don't really like to use travel toothbrushes. I always get new ones. Um, I have Clinique makeup wipes back here and then just all of my little mini goodies that I'll need. In this one, I have a mini brush and some lotion, a scrunchie, some hair ties, and hair clips. And then I also put some chapstick in here. This one is kind of like my electronics. Of course, I'm gonna be bringing the camera that I'm filming on right now and some extra batteries, but I'm not packing those because those are also on my list to grab since I use it daily. This is actually a portable charger, and if I need to charge it up, I can use my phone charger to charge that one. I have a light, and then my headphones, of course. Here is my hospital bag. Of course, it matches the diaper bag, which I absolutely love. Also has the big strap, too, which I'm a fan of the big strap, so I went ahead and put it on. Okay, I'm gonna move the camera so that you guys can see it better. All of the stuff I just showed you on this side and then I'm gonna put my outfits on this side. I am going to bring one pair of sandals, but it's gonna be something that we grabbed last minute, so I won't show it in this video. This little soft outfit from Target, it's just pants and a lounge shirt. So I'm gonna bring that. I have another really soft lounge set from Target. And then this is the dress that I'll likely go home in. I'll either wear one of the lounge sets home or I'll wear this dress. Um, I just feel so comfortable in dresses, so I'm gonna bring this. I have a sleep mask from Stork. 
Also from Stork, they actually have a whole postpartum box that they sent me and they, their stuff is so soft and so nice. But this is just a robe. I'm not gonna open the whole thing, but it's just a really soft robe from Stork. So this is just a t-shirt gown. Open it up so you guys can see, but it's just a t-shirt gown. It has the buttons for nursing and it came in the matching set with the robe. So everything fit perfectly in here. I did have the list on my phone in my notes and I just shared it with Matt so that he has it. Just my short list of like the pillow, the blanket, the sandals, the face cream, um, make sure we have chargers, of course the vlogging camera, the tripod, you know, all stuff that I'm still using every day but I don't wanna put in this bag. This fit everything so perfectly. I'm actually really, really impressed with this travel bag. And we're done. I feel like baby can come any day now. I had a little bit of like bout of contractions thinking maybe today's the day two days ago, but it ended up fizzling out and um, I'm not in like a huge rush. I mean, the fact that he can come anytime in the next two weeks is pretty crazy to me, but I also feel like life is just moving so fast and like we have so many things going on that I'm not sitting here like on pins and needles waiting for him, which is kind of how I have been with the other three. My last week of school is the week that babies do. Um, of course, if he comes early, I can still do school. It's all online and work has been crazy busy for me. We're kind of picking up for the summer, but of course, once baby comes, then I'll go on leave. I am currently wrapping up all of my brand deals for the month and then I won't be doing anything else social media work wise until May, just to kind of give myself a little break. Enjoy those sweet new baby moments with my family at home. But I sincerely apologize for how out of breath I am and I'm sitting here trying to talk to you guys and move and I'm sure you hear me breathing heavy and I just can't help it. Um, I do feel like baby's like has dropped or is in the process of dropping, but I have been out of breath this entire pregnancy just because of his position. He, he has set very high the whole pregnancy. so. Um, yeah, I'm just constantly out of breath. It's just part of it these days. But now that we have his room pretty much done, we have everything set up in our room for him. We have our bags packed. He is welcome to come whenever he's ready. And I really hope that the packing for the hospital and the diaper bag and all that can help any first time moms. If you're wondering what you should bring, those are the things that I feel like you need. I know a lot of people say shower shoes, whatever sandals I bring, I will wear in the shower. So, um, Shower shoes is something that I didn't specifically put in here, but that doesn't mean I will not have them. And then of course getting the car seat in the car is another big thing. I know that again, if your hospital is far away, definitely put the car seat in the car. But since we are just going right down the road, Matt will probably come home at some point. Like after I actually have the baby, like Matt has to come home and get the kids. Like one of our friends or whatever is gonna be watching them until my mom can fly in. So yeah, he's not just gonna be like stuck up at the hospital with me. He's gonna have to come home anyway. And so at that point would be when he puts the car seat in the car. So that's just our situation, but um, definitely getting the car seat in the car is part of packing up as well. If anybody is interested in the code, I actually think I have a 35% off code with Luli Baby if you guys like these bags. And like I said, they have the full size diaper bag too. I got the mini just because that's what I like. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, I hope you subscribe to my channel. Um, if you're curious in the type of content that we've been sharing the past year, check us out on TikTok and Instagram. I will be doing a birth vlog, of course, if all goes well. So I'm so excited for that. I do not think we have a weekend vlog coming this week. Um, we are going to just have some quality time with the kids this weekend. So um, no weekend vlog coming this week. Sorry if you were looking forward to that one. We will definitely jump back into it next week. Um, but if you are interested in me doing a full tour of the new car, it's a Chevy Tahoe High Country. So if you're interested in me going over all the details of the new car, I would love to film that video um, and can probably get that done this week. So just comment below if you wanna see that or if you need any codes or if you wanna see anything else. But I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.